Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is Zalu, and welcome back to Batman the Telltale series. Last off, last off, we just got uh, out of Arkham Asylum and the Joker. We met the Joker, which was really cool. And we also found out that Harvey Dent is Two-Face, which was pretty obvious. But now we are getting back into it. Uh, Selina texted me, or Catwoman texted me, uh, saying that she'll see you when I get home. So let's resume this. Let's see what's going on. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. That night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Okay, don't you think you're being just a little overdramatic? Harvey wouldn't kill you. No? Look what he's done to you. And you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed and no one would ever know. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham for that matter. Ah, this is so sad. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with all of this. Oh, that's sad. Dang, it's really sad. I'm fine, okay? <laughs> I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. How many? Oh. Feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Bruce. You look oh, man. awful. Yeah, I am awful. had a very long evening. You're right. What's You're going right. on? Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Updated. Let's start with a DNA scan. Updated. Compare it to your DNA on file in the bat computer. I'll make the preparations. All right, so let's go boink. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Okay. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. There you go. That's pretty, pretty easy. That should do it. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Ah, I hate it, 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 I hate it. 
I don't like needles. Needles are not fun. Hey, look at that. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I never trusted, I never her. trusted her. There was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. Mm -hmm. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Right? Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh... met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. Yeah. You knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. Uh, I suppose that's not something we can ignore. I mean, Joker's a mobster, so, <laughs> you know, he, he kind of knows a lot of things. If I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Wow. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> got it, right there. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Cool. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Oh, Least so I can do after you seizure warning. Come work in the Batcave, will you? Bruce. Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Am I going out during the day? I am. What the hell? <laughs> Vale Residence. Batman during the day. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. What? I'm inside the Vale House. Mm, there's some stuff going on. Move deeper into the house. That's a dead person. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Uh, eyeballs, man. Search the couch. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this Shut the right. same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Huh. Okay. Oh, gross. gross. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. Yeah. That's disturbing. Yeah. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Is it? Doesn't look much worse. Family photo. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. It's weird. Okay, hold on. That has to link to the syringe, right? Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Okay. Ow. Oh, hello. Hair. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. 
Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Hmm, probably not, but why not? Sure. Oh, it's probably going to be a knife. <laughs> Where's the knife? Where's the knife? Where's the knife? Knife. Aha! It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Boop. And boop. Boop. There we go. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife. Oh. But only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Yeah, that would make sense. Alright. Pantry. Open the pantry. Wait. Hold on. Is there anything else? Nope. Pantry. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. no. <laughs> He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. Ooh. That would be... The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Gee. Alright. Let's go there to photo F photo there we go the logos match mr vale owned an oil and heating company looking it up now yes he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a, a lot better at this <laughs> and now vicky's got it getting a lot better with the whole linking thing so we need to find a blunt object or something. Belt buckle? What would this? What? Hold on. Oh, here we go. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. Mm. Okay. Looking, looking, looking. Hold on. What's happening? Okay. <laughs> Batman, could you could you calm down? <laughs> Is there anything else? I don't think there is anything else. Uh, mm, eh. All right. Ah, there we go. Jeez. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Jeez. Wait. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Ah. Alright, I, I thought I was getting better at it, but I guess, I guess not. Alright, there we go. Link. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents. 
but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Jesus. That's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Is it the kid? Clear. Nothing here. Uh, obviously. Stairs. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. There's a hidden panel. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Mm. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. It's gonna be okay. Gonna be all right. All right, turn off my voice, I think. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because they're hidden here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Oh boy. That doesn't sound good. Get down. Oh boy. Okay. Seizure warning. Holy cow. Jeez. Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> oh crap. They're dead. Oh, God. Yes, they are. But you are not. You are still alive. And those emotions you're feeling, someday you'll learn how to use them. To channel them. You might not understand now, but someday it will make you stronger. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. 
Getting some flashbacks. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my God. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? Uh, he lives here. That boy was the Vale's adopted son. According to the papers I found, they were receiving a pretty significant stipend. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! <laughs> what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. <laughs> Get the hell out of my way. <laughs> and so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. Hmm. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Oh, I can rotate it. Electricity conductor. Everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Mm. Maybe there was something I could have done. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. Right? I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now. But if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls. Uh, but if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to Jeez. Uh, trick carefully. Let's turn the tables. I'm tired of being on the defensive. What is he? Who's, Why don't we attack him instead? Moving and not talking. I'm not sure. But I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh, Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Oh, boy. Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite 
can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? Uh, I'll go as this Bruce. This is Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. Maybe. Who knows? I sure don't, because we're going to end this episode here. We're going to end it a little bit early. I know, sorry. I'm sorry. I just saw the, the uh, 4 out of 4, or 4 out of 6, or whatever. I don't know. 4 out of 6 achievements. So, I kind of I like ending it on, like, the achievement type of screen. Whoa, what is my hair doing? It's really weird. There we go. Let's mess it all up. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's definitely, definitely interesting. Um, a lot, a lot of just going back and forth with like, is it good? Is it bad? Is, is it not good? Is it not bad? And then uh, we went to the Vales, and the, she killed her foster parents, I guess, or not foster parents, her adopted parents, I guess. Um, to take over control and to, but if Batman knows where the drugs are going, why it is, and he just go there, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, we'll see in the next episode, hopefully. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am. If you guys are, definitely hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>